So the Celtics are going back to the finals again. And I have to say, out of all the teams that go back to the finals, of course, the Celtics have the most decorated history in all of basketball. And once they get to the finals, they usually don't lose that often. Unfortunately for them, past couple of trips to the finals haven't been so fruitful. In 2010, they ended up losing to the Lakers. And in 2022, they ended up losing to the Golden State Warriors, both California teams interesting but now they're the favorite to come out of this thing with the championship i don't really see many excuses for the celtics that are any good yes you have the injury to chris Daps porzingis but honestly i feel like he's more of a luxury than anything they're two all-stars jason tatum and jalen brown could potentially lead playoff teams in their own right but they are a tandem which is scary to think about both play well offensively and defensively and when they don't stay step up you have Drew Holiday and Derek White to pick up the load who are both in their own right always in the talks for all defensive teams and then you have a bench in the Boston Celtics that is just as good if not better than any bench that we have left in the playoffs so to me if the Boston Celtics don't win this they deserve all the criticism that they're gonna get now I think before all the criticism that they've been getting really hasn't been warranted for the amount of success that they They've been having as a playoff team they've always in the eastern conference finals they made a finals they've been a young team for quite a while now and just this amount of playoff success should be something that is celebrated funnily enough the one time that they do make it all the way to the end is the time where i feel like they have the least amount of excuses if you want to say that Kristaps porzingis is the reason that the celtics don't win then you have to look at every series that they've been in up until this point the first round they pulled the heat didn't even have Jimmy Butler playing for them and the heat still managed to steal a game even though they had to shoot a crazy amount of threes and second round same thing they ended up dropping one game now this is a little bit different because Donovan Mitchell was there for the first couple of games but then he sat for the rest of them but still once you're playing the team with an injured star you don't get the luxury of using the excuse of your own injuries playing a role in your demise then on to the eastern conference finals they played a six seed which not their fault one of those things that happened the pacers actually ended up beating a beat up knicks team who was ran into the ground by tom thibodeau but that's a talk for another day now they ended up in the eastern conference finals against the celtics where tyrese halliburton ended up getting hurt again a couple of games into this thing and also the pacers threw away some very very winnable games and the last couple of games actually came without Halliburton being there so if he was there I don't know that the Pacers actually win that series but they definitely get a game or two so now they're on to the finals and just like I said there's no excuse unless and I do not want this to happen so I'm crossing my fingers as I say this unless Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum gets hurt which I hate to see any injury derail a finals run but that to me would be the only way I can look at that and go you guys have an excuse for losing these finals but as a top seed with a historic point differential margin and the way you ran through the Eastern Conference really shouldn't be anything Mavericks will play the Celtics in the finals and that's going to be an interesting matchup to say the least I do expect the Celtics to come out on top but I've been betting against the Mavericks all playoffs long and here we are so you ready for Kyrie to be the most hated man in Boston I think I am let's see how these finals go thank you guys for watching leave a like if you feel so inclined and I'll catch you guys on the next one